In this video, we'll offer some insights into the complexities of trading stocks in a currency other than your base account unit. As with domestic investments, buying and selling shares in overseas companies contains several trading risks. However, there's also the added layer of exchange rate fluctuations, which may adversely or positively impact your profits and losses. In fact, currency movements can wipe out gains on your underlying investment. And because we are discussing overseas trades, there's an associated settlement concern, which can further confound your trading activity due to holidays in the country where your trade settles. Moreover, you may need additional market data subscriptions. And this is especially true if you're seeking live market data for those stocks you're either holding or simply monitoring. Now you can have various outcomes, whether you decide to manage your exchange rate risk in a cash account or borrow a margin using a portfolio margin loan. And this is mainly due to the movements in share prices in combination with shifts in the value of foreign currencies. For example, if you purchase shares of stock using a foreign currency, you may suffer losses solely on the back of a weakening of that currency versus your base account unit. To put this simply, if I exchange 100 US dollars for 9150 worth of Swiss francs, I may then invest that 9150 in a company valued in Swiss francs. However, if the exchange rate between the US dollar and Swiss franc changes over the time my shares are held, I may only receive 90 US dollars when I sell those shares in my local currency, resulting in a loss of $10. Of course, the opposite may also occur and I may gain from the currency fluctuation. I'll we'll explore more about exchange rate risk in foreign currency stock trading in a later video. It's important to keep in mind that your P&L can be affected by exchange rate movements, even if the share price of the stock you hold remains constant. Now, if you decided to use a margin account to make your purchase, you can buy that currency in which the foreign stock will settle ahead of time. If you look at your online brokerage account, for example, when using IBKR's Trader Workstation, the currency you buy will appear in your account management window as a cash credit. Here you'll want to note that margin loans are only available for margin accounts and are not permitted in cash accounts. Alternatively, you can attach an FX order to your stock transaction when creating the order, and if the parent stock order begins to fill, your FX child order will also start to fill. Let's say you buy 10,000 shares worth of a Swiss company stock at 9150 Swiss francs apiece. Your margin account will then reflect a loan of 915,000 Swiss francs, which will be secured against the US dollar collateral in your account. But no matter what happens, you'll need to repay that loan after those shares are sold. And if the share price falls, you'll experience a shortfall. However, if the share price rises, you'll have a surplus in your Swiss franc account. There are a number of different outcomes from both managing exchange rate risk and taking out a margin loan, which we'll explore in our next video. But for now, you should keep in mind that currency movements will affect your PL when performing transactions using non-base currency units. Come back and join us.